<laughs> ah, staying rehydrated as per usual. Hello everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Part 15 now. Uh, by all accounts, about halfway through the game, actually. Uh, so, in the last episodes, we, uh, or in the last session, uh, the, well, actually, we are in the same session, what am I saying? But yeah, in the last episode, uh, we continued with Rock Bottom, uh, got the museum done, got started on this next area, and uh, we're almost done with it, frankly. Um, Rock Bottom is, is very close to being done now. Uh, we've just got a couple more things that we have to do, and uh, a few things we have to collect, and, and then we'll, we'll be done. We'll be fucking done with, with rock bottom. What the fuck? Time is flying, guys. Time is flying and we're just breezing through this shit. Like it's nothing. My god. I cannot believe it. Um, <clears throat> I haven't gotten a chance to talk in these last couple of... Well, I shouldn't say I haven't gotten a chance to talk. I, I've had a chance to talk. I just haven't thought of it till now. But um, I've been playing... Um, there we go. I've been playing more of that uh, American Wasteland that I mentioned. I've started playing again on um, on the 360, and uh, man, it's it's so good. It's so good, man. I, I wish I could do videos on it. I really do, because I don't think I ever did. I don't think I ever actually did a video, even a game of shenanigans on um, uh, on on. Um, uh, why have I lost the fucking? One? Uh, I've lost the plot, guys. I've lost the fucking plot. Um, American Wasteland. Oh my God! Holy shit! Jesus! Get my get my brain in gear here. Holy crap! Um, but yeah, I think I've I've uh, I, I, I've I've not played American Wasteland in a few years, so it's been really fun to dig back into it again and um, and and see what's what it has on offer. Uh, also, okay, we have to. This is annoying. We have to switch back and forth quite a bit here uh, for this last for part of, of this area. Um, this is so much easier when you've got the, the third move in the game. All of this with the sneaking around, hitting these robots. Uh, or at least it's quicker anyway. Uh, or it feels quicker. Uh, but we have to kill that robot so we can get past it. Because I died and the robots got reset. And then we have to use Sandy. Wow, I almost just ran off the edge there. You have to use Sandy to get over here to this platform. Uh, and then to the platform after it. Uh, and then we have to, yeah, we have to take the box over there back and then switch back again to Spongebob so that we can come back uh, and kill this uh, this robot here. So, wow, lots of fucking interchanging bullshit going on here. But hey, it's what the game wants. Why did I, why am I almost walking off the edge? What is going on? What is happening? Okay, right. So this is a little annoying. We've got some robots that want to play. Uh, okay, let's um, jump and boom. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so we, we're not going to get back over there anytime soon. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, right. We are not dying here. This is not where I die today. No, thank you. No, thank you, Johnny. Um... There's, there's one other person um, that I'm subscribed to on YouTube that I've seen playing um, uh, this game. And that's uh, We Like to Play. Or, well, they used to be called We Like to Pray. Um, also, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 I know what comes after this. I know where those socks are. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I just sneak here. Just a lot of sneaking. But yeah, I, I miss We Like to Pray, man. Uh, like the, the thing is, right... The thing is, one of the rarest things to find on YouTube is uh, is groups, right? People who play as a duo or people who play as um, more than a duo, right? So, um, hold on, let's let's actually let's let's focus on this. <clears throat> da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Okay, and kill you, and we're done. All right. So, so like we write to pray, for example, is one of the very, very few groups on YouTube which I knew of that played uh, in a large group together, right? And it was always the same people, right? Four people playing together, and they were always playing multiplayer stuff. So they played like Little Big Planet, they played Lego games, they played Ma Super Mario Bros. Wii and stuff, and it was super fun to watch, right? Originally, when I first found those guys a long fucking time ago, like ten years ago, they were in college. Um, they were in college together and two of them were in the same college dorm and the other two were I guess nearby somewhere and they were all friends um, and they used to just play games together and record uh, in, in their dorm 
And it was always so fucking like chill, you know, these guys would, would be so fucking chill. They'd sit there uh, and, and just fucking play whatever for hours and hours. Um, they, they st their videos, their old videos still exist and uh, because they haven't deleted them. And it's, it's just super neat to go back and see like where they used to be um, in terms of what they used to do and how they used to do it. They all sort of separated as the years went by and uh, nowadays even like the original creator has gone off to do his own thing and left the channel to one guy and I think he's brought like other newer people on since to, to like you know do stuff together with them but that old sort of college uh, group dynamic that they well, used to have is, is, is long gone now it's a bygone right. era um, and there were very few channels ever on YouTube that were like that you know, Rooster Teeth is a well-known one. You know, a big group of people who play games together. Game Grumps was was well-known, but that was a duo. That wasn't like a big group of people. Um, there probably are quite a few big groups out there that, you know, do stuff together, play games, review games, and all that kind of thing. But I don't really know about any of them. I think I, I, I stopped caring about that sort of thing a long time ago because there's so much to watch on YouTube nowadays as it is. I get lost in the content, so... Anyway, um, we're on the last section of, uh, of rock bottom now. This is it. Like, this slide and the bottom of this slide is basically the last that we'll see of rock bottom. Um, we are going to jump off this slide sooner than later, though. Uh, although, actually, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to jump off the slide. Um, we're going to collect the spatula that's down here first, and then we will collect the sock. Um, the sock's only just round the corner anyway from the spatula. We just have to... Uh, Collect the spatula first. Oh no! How did I not get down quick enough? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. This is bullshit. Fuck the church. Here's, here's 12 reasons why. Um, good god. Now, so I think it's because I hit some of the TNT. Let's try that again, shall we? Um, we you, you guys better get fucking used to this music, by the way, right? Because this fucking slide music, we're going to be hearing it pretty much non fucking stop in the next level. Right, let me, let me tell you about the next level, since we're finishing up Roll Bottom. The next level is, uh, is, is um, uh, Sand Mountain, right? And it's a bunch of snowy racetracks, or it's supposed to be snowy. It's, it's sand, but um, it's a bunch of racetracks, and there's a whole bunch of races that we have to do on those racetracks. And it is incredibly annoying. Um, I am not exactly the most chuffed that I could be. <clears throat> about having to do some of those races uh, and also the sock collecting in that level is going to be such a pain in my ass like a metric pain in my ass um, because some of those socks require you to go down slides more than once which means you've got to do the whole like two three minute slide like four fucking times uh, in order to oh there we go oh 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 wow okay wait a minute how do we get that sock then the fuck? Oh, do we have to go? Okay, we have to get it from the slide. So, yeah, we, we have to do those slides more than once to get some of the socks. So, what I might end up doing is get the socks that I can um, and then do, like, a separate set of clips to collect the rest of the socks that I miss. Um, but, I mean, we're, we're going to have collected all the socks in this level anyway by the time we're done with it. Um, and you know what? Weirdly enough, this, this episode is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought I'd be done with Rock Bottom by now, like 10 minutes in, but apparently I'm not. Um, but we are close, so, you know, we're getting there. Alright, let me just be careful here. I want to make sure I jump off at the right time to get this sock. I think it's just round the corner here. Yep, right here. There we go. Uh, and now there should only be, yep, two more socks left in the museum. And the one uh, spatula left from um, uh, Mrs. Puff, which will bring us to halfway through the game, which is 50 spatulas. Uh, and then we can collect the other two socks and we'll be done with uh, with Rock Bottom and we can head towards Sand Mountain. Hell, I may even do a couple things in uh, in the overworld if there is anything I can do um, be before I end this episode, just so that I don't have to start a world and do one thing in it before uh, before getting to the next episode. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, oh, great, we've got to wait for this fucking thing now. Well, while we're waiting for this thing, I suppose we can talk a little bit more about some other stuff. Um, although I'm not really sure there's much else to talk about. I've just been getting on with the same old, same old, really. I've been playing ESO on and off. I've been playing American Wasteland and Phantom Breaker. Um, I've been... Oh, oh, I did buy a new game. Actually, a couple of new games. Uh, um, 
Far Cry 3 Classic Edition uh, was released free on PlayStation Plus, so I downloaded that. Uh, and I bought Flat Out 4. Uh, Flat Out used to be one of my favorite series for arcade racing next to Burnout. Um, and Flat Out 4 apparently went back to the roots of the first two games, so I'm, I'm looking forward to checking that out. And it was super cheap uh, with PlayStation Plus, so I made use of my PlayStation Plus subscription for once and got discounts on some games. <laughs> To be fair, I should probably make use of it better every month, right? Because I don't pay for like 12 months or 6 months of PlayStation Plus. I play for a month at a time, which adds up to far more over time. But the problem was when I started, um, which was like years ago, I didn't really know that I would be keeping PlayStation Plus for so long. And at the same time, I never really have 40, 50 quid to drop on a 12 month subscription, like right there and then. So, for me, it was it was more about the convenience of just, okay, it's going to end up expensive in the long run, but $7.99 every month is not a big dip out of my pocket for what I get every month. Um, whereas, you know, dropping a 40 straight away would be uh, incredibly troublesome for me. Um, but anyway, let's... Uh, we, oh, great, okay. We, we've got... Oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, swing a long spatula. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 okay. If we, if we go here, and we turn around, will we be allowed to leave the museum and go right outside where the switch thing is to get to Sandy? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Because that would make this very convenient for me. I would very much appreciate this game. It'd make me very happy. It'd make me a happy chappy. It'd make me the happiest boy. Haha! -ha! Yes, we can. It works. Boys. It works. Uh, oh, I, I've been looking into movies that are coming out lately, which I'm interested in. Uh, there's one which is an apocalyptic movie. I'm, you know, I, I don't want to say I'm a like a, an apocalyptic guy, but uh, I do like a good apocalyptic film. Um, and there's one com coming out called Greenland, uh, I think in the middle of August, I believe. Uh, and I am very much looking forward to that because I do love me a good, uh, well-made apocalypse film. Um, and it looks like kind of a thriller as well, so I don't know, maybe it might have some more uh, horrific kind of elements to it, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be good. Uh, also, what the fuck was that? Right? A bunch of stuff just fell out from, from the air. That was weird. Um, okay. Uh, well, anyway, this is easy with Sandy, because with Sandy we can just jump over the top of these things and then destroy them from above, so... Absolutely no issues there. Just fucking easy peasy lemon squeezy. Destroy these fuckers. All right. And then because we've got the robot as well. Okay, let's kill you as well. There we go. Perfect. And because we've got the box, we can go straight up here, which is neat. Uh, destroy that. We do have to do some of this. This platforming over here before we can actually uh, make our way to... Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, there we go. We do have to do some of this platforming before we can uh, make our way over to the socks because the uh, hooks don't actually begin here. They begin over further away. So we have we have a little bit to do before we before we get to the socks. Um, but yeah, Greenland isn't the only uh, the only movie I've taken interest in. There's a couple of things that have been released on Netflix uh, along with a couple other random things as well. Oh shit! Oh my god! Okay, right, that was close. That guy almost fucking had me. Oh fuck you, motherfucker. Um, oh, right, okay, let's see. Can I catch these hands? No, I can't catch these hands, okay. Well, that sucks. I thought I could catch these hands, man. I thought I could catch these hands. Ugh. These things had a bigger hitbox on them on the PlayStation, uh, on the PlayStation and, and Xbox versions of this game. Um, you could you could hook these fucking hook things from really far away. Now they're really like you have to be really close to them in order to hook them, which is super duper fucking annoying. I suppose it creates more of a challenge, you know. I mean, it's not like you know you're gonna. Um, it's not like dying is even much of a convenience in this game, if we're being completely honest. Okay, right, let's let's focus here. We want to get this last sock. Uh, and... Ooh, lovely. All right. That's it. That's rock bottom finished, everybody. Rock bottom is done. We have every spatula and every sock in rock bottom in one foul swoop. We don't have to come back and backtrack or anything. 
And now, instead of walking all the way out of here, we can just teleport straight to Bikini Bottom. Holy crap, can you believe it? Can you believe it? We're like, and this is the thing, right? There's a hundred spatulas in this game. So we are officially halfway done with Battle for Bikini Bottom at this point. If I was to 100% it, we are halfway done. I have 50 of 100 spatulas. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. I, like, I, 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 I was talking about this game months ago. I was talking about how excited I was for it and how, uh, how amazed I was that it was getting a remake. And now here we are playing it, and I'm already halfway through it. And I'm just, I'm just so ecstatic because there's like some of my favorite levels in this game are coming up, and I, I'm looking real forward to playing them again and talking about them and my relationship with them. Sand Mountain specifically is a level that my mother and I used to really love playing a lot. She used to love the movie game too, and she always liked the slide sections and uh, and the the race sections. So so Sand Mountain was always pretty. Uh, pretty near and dear to her heart when she played Here's this game um, so I'm, I'm pretty pretty stoked and looking forward to, to playing Back through Sam out. Mountain it's not my personal favorite level that's a di different level which we'll get to later but uh, Sam Mountain is really good though and I am looking forward to it but yeah so uh, so we've got another spatula from Patrick and that is officially the 50th spatula of the game and our halfway point so um, Man, I fucking swear to God, that is nuts that I'm halfway through the game now. So that's it. We've done um, we've done five worlds in the game so far. Um, we have got one more world here in, in area two, and then we can move on to area three. So uh, the next couple, maybe three episodes, will be spent right here in Sand Mountain. I mean, I, the, the thing is, all right, I want to I want to start it, but at the same time, like I, I kind of want to end this episode early just so I don't overstay my welcome. You know what I mean? You know how I feel? I mean, is there anything? Is there anything I could do for entertainment value for the for, for the a little bit longer, like a couple more minutes? Maybe we could look at some of the entries for the robots I haven't looked at yet. The ones that we've just come across in the last, um, well, the last, like, f f four or five episodes. Um, so let's have a look here. What, what robots have we come across? Let's see. Uh, no, we've looked at that guy. Arf. This here's one. Mean environment. Packs a A.45, oh, packs a .45 caliber cat crusher, most powerful dog house made. Nice. Uh, we know about him, we know about him. Uh, we, we know about this guy, right? Pesky little critter, bites the hand that feeds it. Impressive array of tricks, fetches sponges, chases squirrels, spontaneously combusts. That's a neat trick. <laughs> I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. Um, <laughs> that's a cool trick. Uh, sleepy time. These are the new ones we've just been introduced to in the last couple episodes. Mostly harmless and less woken. Somewhat moody. Likes to express himself by blasting everything in sight or finger painting. Oh, that's neat. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think that's all the robots then that we've uh, that we've met. So there's also pictures here. Um, oh, that's the that's the picture that starts episodes sometimes. The the picture of the sign just outside Bikini Bottom. Um, Oh, that's pretty cool. And there's a random picture of a boat for some dumb reason. There's also a bunch of newspapers on a on a chair here. The little details is what does it for me, you know? You don't usually pay attention to it. But it's the little details, like the desk and the right, uh, the printer there. You know, there's like a board with papers on it. The bell with the shell on it, the TV. There's like all these little details that I haven't really paid much attention to because I've played this game so many times and most people probably would just ignore it because they're just getting on with the game. But I just want to enjoy the details, you know? That's why I really enjoyed the museum in Rock Bottom. I thought it was really, really well done. I thought it was incredibly detailed, all the different paintings and, and references and things, all the models all put up in dioramas and stuff. There's just so much to to explore with this game, like when it comes to the details. Hold on. No, I do not want to trade uh, spat. Uh, I do I do not want to trade shiny objects for spatulas right now. Um, that is going to be the biggest obstacle in the way of 100%. That right there. The socks will be easy in comparison to that. That there's no way to get easy shinies in this game. Um, now that that glitch has been patched out from the original version, so. That is just, um, that's going to be a real pain in the ass doing that. He requires so many shiny objects to get all of his spatulas. I mean, he literally, he requires 3,000 just for the first one alone. And then I think it doubles with every spatula or something like that. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, but anyway, I've managed to I've managed to to make this episode go up to 20 minutes. How about that? Wow. Okay, I hope it wasn't too boring for you. But yeah, so uh, like I said, next episode we're going to be going to Sand Mountain, one of my favourite levels in the game, uh, and hopefully we will we will be able to have a good a good time with that. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh.